Hey, what's going on guys? Before we start the video, I'd like to make an announcement that me and the channel now have a new sponsor, ReflectiveDecals.com, the same people I got the decals for my helmet. ReflectiveDecals.com mostly makes reflective decals for motorcycle helmet applications, but they can die cut anything. And you could use those decals for any application, whether it's a car helmet, a helicopter helmet, you know, bicycle helmet, anything you could think of, even stuff that you want to stick on your bike or your car. They use 3M retro reflective industrial grade vinyl, and with that, they can pretty much die cut anything. If something you want isn't on their website, you could always message them and basically just let them know what it is you need for what application. So go check out their website at reflectivedecals.com and use the promo code JED underscore be seen for free shipping on any product. Also check them out on Instagram at Reflective Decals. All right, let's get on with the video. Parkway four miles this way. Ooh, duck eggs for sale. Huh. All right, what's going on, YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, it's just gonna be a simple vlog where I'm just talking and riding on a really nice road. Right now, we're actually going towards the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh shit, Glibbins. This is probably the closest way from my house to get to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember my last YouTube video. I was going down that road and I saw a turn off that said Blue Ridge Parkway. I saw a turn where you turn left. That road over there, if I turn left, leads to the Blue Ridge Parkway, but that'll be for another time. Yeah, I'm going down that road right now. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out. It's like high 70s, low 80s right now. Nice and cool breeze. Oh God, yes. I love it. I love this cool breeze. It's that fresh mountain air, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so this road that's leading to the Blue Ridge Parkway right now, it's a really nice road in it in and of itself. It's really windy, but it is residential, so it's not really a place you wanna go too hard, <laughs> you know? Well, whoever left these like, snake tread marks went pretty hard over here <laughs> so beautiful so beautiful I actually recorded this exact vlog and, and ride last week um, unfortunately my motor vlogging setup was uh, garbage so I hooked up a lapel mic in my helmet right now so you should be able to hear me better I'll figure it out when I get back home. <laughs> but yeah, after I did that uh, motor vlog setup video, went out on a ride, not only just to test it out, but also to, you know, because I wanted to ride. And I figured like, oh, I'll make a separate motor vlog while I'm doing that. But it didn't turn out well. Um, <laughs> could not hear me talk over my exhaust. And uh, honestly, the weather wasn't that great on the Blue Ridge Parkway. The, the road was really damp, so. I was going pretty slow because uh, my rear tire needs to be replaced soon and I didn't want to risk, you know, sliding it out or anything like that. Man, you know what I love? Despite how hot it, it could get up here, when you're riding and you go under canopies where it's shadowed like this, it feels like five to 10 degrees much cooler, like instantly. I contribute that to probably the lack of humidity up here. The only time I ever feel it, it's humid is when it's about to or just after the rains. Okay. Hairpin turn. Don't cross the mustard or the mayo, brothers. I'm not that familiar with these routes, or I'm not that familiar with these roads quite quite yet I haven't been really been riding them as often as I'd like so I am taking them pretty cautiously you know 
I ain't, I ain't trying to be a street Rossi out here. Man, this cool mountain air under the shadows is just amazing. Oh, it's so nice up here. I love it. It's so green right now, but I can't wait till fall once all these trees and, and uh, the greenery turn into uh, brown leaves and whatnot. A lot of people parked over here. Is there a hiking trail or something over here? Almost there to the turn off spot to get to the Blue Ridge Parkway. There it is. Oh, and then last week when I did do this route, for some reason for a Sunday afternoon, it was actually quite crowded in terms of traffic. So hopefully that's not the case today. Uh, that's how, this is how you know the sun hasn't touched these parts of the road because they're still kind of wet from whatever moisture we, <laughs> they was present here not too long ago. Okay. Hopefully the Blue Ridge Parkway is not like that like it was last week. Okay, let's see. Here it is. Blue Ridge Parkway. Probably give some of these people uh, ample time to get ahead of me. Okay. I got stuck behind people going a little under the speed limit. But then I felt bad because there was people on my ass <laughs> on some of these curves. Because I was like too cautious on taking the curves too fast and stuff like that. The Blue Ridge Parkway is one of the more famous roads here in America. Definitely famous here on east of the Mississippi. A lot of people come here to visit Western North Carolina and this region in general. Uh, and they, you know, just just to drive on here, amongst other things, obviously. But this is one of the places they definitely would go to in terms of tourism. The Blue Ridge Parkway is definitely a more touristy road rather than a road that you want to like go fast on or anything. You know, this it's not. It's very scenic. It's very well maintained. Look at that. That's so fucking nice. All of y'all know about Tale of the Dragon. Uh, lots of lots of bike and car guys going down there because it's an amazing road. I haven't gone there down there yet. One of these days I will. They go down there and, and they all turn into street Rossies or street Schumachers or whatever. Um, but not the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is a definitely more for like a chill cruising type of uh, road. And here comes the first tunnel. <laughs> but yeah, the Blue Ridge Parkway is really meant to be a really, really nice scenic route. Probably one of the best scenic routes in the country. And, uh, you know, for leisurely, leisure driving, leisure riding, it spans across, you know, I forgot how many miles, but it spans across all of Western North Carolina into, uh, I think into Virginia. Oh, look at all that. But yeah, I guess I'll keep riding and, I don't know, stop somewhere. We'll figure it out. For a Sunday afternoon, yeah, it's not too many cars out here. I haven't seen a single bike up here other than me. rock face. Well, look at the beautiful mountains. Well, more beautiful mountains. For those who have been following me since my beginning, put it in the comments. This is a much, much more interesting scenery than Houston, right? I actually looked back at my old videos not too long ago just to, just out of curiosity and then like I just I, I'm very grateful y'all followed me for my content and for who I am but damn you know like from a viewer's point of view like just talking and driving on flat straight roads in Houston with you know traffic and stuff all around me like Damn, 
that's <laughs> here's to bigger and better videos at least when it comes to motor vlogging <laughs> I was ahead of me for a while, but somehow I got caught up. I don't know. Hey, look, a biker. Finally. Good old biker wave. Uh, no biker wave for you, buddy. Oh, man. He was full tuck. Going down the hill full tuck, getting maximum speed. Maximum velocity. <laughs> now that I remember, the farther we go on this route, the closer we'll get to Mount Mitchell, which is the highest peak east of the Mississippi. Uh, me and my wife have gone there once. Really cool place. I don't want to go that far, but uh, it's really interesting. I'll probably record a motor vlog or something going that far one of these days. I don't know. We'll see. Right, he was in the middle of a turn. He couldn't, he couldn't bike away. <laughs> Ooh, another tunnel, baby? Yes, sir. Why are you breaking, bro? Jesus Christ. Ah, there's a beautiful rock face. And there's beautiful mountains over there. Ah, oh, pull-off area. Oh, that's a lot of people, though. Jesus. Oh, I know where this is. Yeah, this is not too much farther from, you know, Mount Mitchell, but... Nice, nice little ride. And you could see over, oh shit, I thought that was a curb. See some of the Blue Ridge Mountains over here. And it's majestic glory. There's a tunnel up ahead over there. And uh, leads to Mount Mitchell. It's a little bit more cloud coverage up here than I expected. Turn that off. All right, people. I thought about just ending the video there at that stop, but I figured I'd end it on the end it while I'm on the road back home. I do need to get some gas for this thing. Oh, my first off, gotta play another song for my people. <laughs> oh, more bikers. So this section we're going downhill which is kind of nice because you can kind of just glide glide through these these uh sweepers and whatnot without having to like rev out the bike <laughs> yeah boy oh, a little bit of an uphill man i love this this is where this is these are real roads up here baby don't get me wrong, I mean, I'll probably do some motor vlogs here and there of me going through, like, Asheville, like, the actual city of Asheville and whatnot. Or maybe I'll, I'll go, like, visit one of the smaller towns that are out in, you know, surrounding areas or whatever. But, you know, but these roads, these windy roads that are away from the populated areas, I mean, that's that's where that ticket's at. That's, that's what's where, where it's really, you know all about and but, I mean look at that look at all that that scenery oh so beautiful and we're going through a really small section of Blue Ridge Parkway there, there's there's way way more other sections but that road that I took to get here was like five ten minutes away from my apartment and then I have access to all this so <laughs> cannot complain cannot complain See some more of the mountains right here. Oh, so many cars going the opposite direction. I guess it's a good thing I went when I went. <laughs> you know, lots of bikers more. Uh, more bikers these days too. Oh, there's another one. Well, 
anyways guys uh, this should be it there's really nothing else I could think of to talk about and I'm just just riding all on the way all the way back home basically so oh shit oh shit uh, went in a little bit too hot on that one How beautiful look how damn beautiful that's so nice look at all those mountains if you uh, haven't yet go ahead and like the video uh, comment if you have anything to say uh, look. oh damn more bikers oh, there's a whole group of them Woo. what up y'all what up y'all and uh, if you haven't yet to subscribe go ahead and subscribe you know if you're into uh, bike content and car content until next time, people, peace out.